Hello everyone, this is Lito Flo here going through the salt mines European dead zones once again to go ahead and grab the luminous quest today. Uh, it's pretty much very simple, it's just as if we were getting the thorn quest, but instead we're getting the luminous quest. So we're going to start it here shortly. I am killing a few ads, you don't have to necessarily do any of that, you can just go straight running all the way to get to the transmat by the elevator. Go through the transmat. Once we get to the transmat and go right through, we're gonna go through uh, and keep on walking all the way to the end. We're gonna stay to the left ledge as the door to the right will be closed anyways, and we cannot go through it. We're gonna grab a chest that's gonna be at the very end once you go into this small little cave uh, down at the end itself. Now, once you get this quest, you're gonna have to. Uh, look for a chess piece now this chess piece is gonna have a few roses mine happened to be in Titan so what I did is I um, went right away because technically this chest can be time gated so if you don't get your chest on time you can or, or will technically lose the position of the chest that you initially got it from as i said mine wasn't the sirens watch so i took uh and got there as fast as possible this is pretty much what the chest looks like you don't want to waste time on it you want to make sure that you get the chest as as fast as possible once you do so you get the barrel of evil uh pass quest step and here you have to create orbs of light in the uh, dreaming city when you go to do blind wells you can go ahead and put on reclusive that technically that's what i did i put on reclusive and i started getting onto the blind wells it was really 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 easy for me to make orbs for my friends you have to make about 250 orbs for the most part you will be on the blind well for a little bit because you have to do encounters here you have to get the orbs to start with i think this is the easiest part you can do it here you can do the menagerie any event that technically has a lot of ads coming at you at once you can create orbs easily so you technically i use the blind wells you don't have to use the blind wells you can do it any other way that you like you don't have to necessarily come to the blind wells so this is something that i did but it's very easy to get that once you do so you get the rose rebuilt this is technically when you get the rose so now the quest that's following is you have three steps you have to do a 50,000 knife or plus and this is just to open the stats of the gun. So you'll start opening the stats of the gun. You have to do encounters on the blind well. And you have to defeat numerous uh, combatants. You can do so on the blind wells. You can do that on the menagerie. You can do it whatever you want and knife only, even if you want it to. So what you have to do is I put, uh, I will hit people with the uh, rose. I would hit people with the uh, reclusive and then I will switch to my heavy gun. This way, I will try to kill as many ass as I could. So, uh, as you can see here in the in the nightfall, uh, I did it with a small team, with my team uh, from my clan. Uh, we did really small modifiers, and we still made it to 107,000. So it's very easy, 50,000 points. You don't have to sweat. It's easy, easy, easy to obtain. Once you do so, you will receive the fire team leader um, quest. This quest is the next following step to get the Lumina. Now. On here, you're gonna go ahead and do activities completed. Once you complete these activities, it can be anything, it can be Nightfall, it can be Menagerie, it can be anything. As long as people have Rose equipped, it, the, the faster will will go. So make sure you have the Rose equipped when you're doing any of these activities, just in case, as it says on the page. Now, once you complete that, you're gonna go on to the next step, which is the strength in numbers. Now, you're gonna do orbs, final blows and invasions are uh, denied now invasions denied you can do on gambit as well as orb generated you can do on gambit i got really really lucky where on my first game i did the orbs completed and i did the um the invaders kill so i killed uh, the invader right before uh someone died on my fire team i was able to go ahead and get to my invader before any of my fire team died so i was really happy about that i got the final blows in crucible doing quick play you can go ahead and go into quick play after that you're gonna go the bloom quest um so the bloom quest is light reclaimed and soul defeated you're gonna go ahead and kill soul uh throughout the the strike of the uh, soul you don't have to necessarily destroy every single crystal uh, you only need 11 and you have to shoot it with the luminous uh, uh, Little sister which to me is the rose uh, Previously to getting the lumina so grab your rose start shooting all the crystals you, like I said You only need 11 once you complete 11 you could just pretty much 
keep walking on. Uh, so this way you can go ahead and get your uh, next step, which is killing the boss. Kill the boss. Once you kill the boss, you're going to get the Lumina itself. This will be your final step. Killing Soul is your final step to getting your Lumina. Uh, like I said, I'm killing here the crystals just for fun at this point, but you only need 11. There's plenty, plenty, plenty crystal all over the strike. So you cannot miss it. They're everywhere uh, as you go through the strike. It is is really impossible to miss any of them because of how many there are. So you'll have fun just shooting these crystals all over. Uh, you know, if you want to kill, you know, destroy them all, or if you just want to destroy the 11 ones that you'll get.